This is our deal with lever wire connectors. This is the two port. It comes in five port, three port, and two port. Bought these off Amazon. Cost me $20 to ship it. And I'll leave a link to a different place where they were shipped from that was close to me here in Canada. And you can look at these in the back. It says 24 to 12 W AWG solid wire and 12 to 24 AWG strand wire. And it made in Austria. So we'll look at these two port, three port, and five port. We're going to compare them to the two, three, and five part Wago connectors. What's the difference? Which one should you choose? Game changer with these ideal lever wire connections. When you're putting this number 14 two wire, this is a ground wire. You don't have to open up the lever to put the wire in. You just simply press it in there. It's in there. The lever is on the opposite side where the copper wire comes in. So if you just uh, take it open, flip it up here, and then if you want to just put it in, lever it up, there you go. But you don't need to do that. Just press it in there. Stranded wire, yes, you have to do that with the stranded wire. So just to remove it there, just open it up and remove it. This is 14-2 ground wire. And uh, some people say they can force it in there to make that lever push up, but I don't. I think you might damage it if you did that. I noticed that the copper wire comes in the same size as the lever. So you have to flip this up, then put your copper wire in here, and then snap it down. It's in there, secure there. In the Vago ones, you have to lift the lever up to remove the wire. And then an ideal one, too, if you lift up the two levers here. See this little notch there? This little notch here? And there's a notch inside here, the, the blue part. When that clicks down, you can hear it click. It clicks down, so that holds it in place. Those two little levers that are held in place, whereas the I, uh, the Vega ones don't have that. You lift them up here. And there's nothing to hold these in place when you clap them down. Some people have said on their different videos that when you're putting the Vega ones in, you're putting it inside the box, sometimes these levers will be pushed up and not tightened. So uh, obviously, if you want to make sure, you would put some electrical taper on it so they wouldn't come up. But some people reported that the levers have left it up on the Vega ones. But actually, the wire coming into the uh, ideal ones, the levers are on the opposite side. So it's harder for that to catch somewhere when you're putting wires inside your box here, your electrical box. And it's harder to flip these up because they're snapped in with those little, little catches inside there. Five port connector from Ideal. Lots of information on the back of the connector here. Right in the near the top here, it's got 450 volts, 32 amps here. And on the side, it's got uh, when you cut the wire 11 to 12 millimeters inside this connector here, and it's got AWG 24 to 12 that's solid and uh, stranded wire. And it's got uh, even the model number here L. 25 right down there, L25. Vago, the five uh, port one, has that same information AWG 24 to 12 here, and uh, 450 volt, 32 amps here. And on the back, it says they want 11 millimeters here. The so ideal connectors here, they're when you put the copper wire in there and you have to push it in. It's not it's not as clear like the Vega ones. This is like a semi-transparent, so you can see the copper uh, wire in there, but it's not easy to to see it. And we'll do the other side too. And again, you just have to press the wire in here to see it to get it in. And same thing, you can't see the copper wire right on the end of it here. So it's semi-transparent, not like the Vega, so you can see the wire inside the connector. So the copper wire, you can see it quite clearly inside the Wago connector. It's nice and clear. You can see them very easy. You can see the copper wire here and even up top here. And just uh, put a bare copper wire in here so you can see it very easily here. Number 18 stranded wire. So they want you to flip the lever up here to put the stranded wire in. 
that's secure. And while we're at it, this is a number 12 wire, so you don't have to, you just have to push it in, you don't have to flip the lever. There it goes. So these uh, ideal lever wire connectors has two ports you can check with your multimeter here, port right in the bottom here, check there, and at the back, there's another port you can check here. So uh, you can check it two different places here. Same with the big O, it has two places you can check it here. The big O one here, right here in the top here, right there, and at the back here, right here. So they both have two ports you can check for voltage on these connectors. I really like these ideal lever wire connectors. Comes on two and three, five port. It can accommodate from AWG 24 to 12 solid wire, AWG 24 to 12 stranded wire. I like the way the wire comes in on this side and the levers on the opposite side. And you look at the lever here, it actually has a small little notch in here and a hole up here. So when you press it down, it snaps in place here. And so less chance of when you're putting all your wires in the electrical box, this coming up on you. Has a test port here as well as here. And when you're using solid wire, this is number 12 solid wire. You just have to press it in here. You don't have to lift up the lever. The only time you have to lift up the lever is when you're using stranded wire. You can see the copper wire in here, not as clear as the Vega ones, and slightly thicker than the Vega ones. Today we uh, check the ideal connectors compared to the Vega connectors. The ideal has the wire going on this side and the the lever on the opposite side of the Vega ones. The Vega ones, people are saying that sometimes they'll flip up and you put them in the electrical box. The ideal ones are a little bit different. They actually snap down, so less chance of them flipping up here. As far as the Vega one goes, uh, I've had no problems whatsoever with these. If you're not sure they're going to flip up, just tape them with electrical tape. The ideal ones, you just press the 12 and 14 wire inside. You don't even have to toggle the the lever up, the Vega ones you have to open up and put the wires in. So put in your comments, in the comments, which one you prefer, the Vega or the Ideal. I will give the slight edge to the Ideal. So uh, take a few seconds and hit that subscribe button and at the same time hit the bell button. You'll be notified next time I upload a video. It really helps my channel out. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Have a great day, people.